out here. I'll go in alone. This may be a trap. Majesty, Captain Torch reports that Flash Gordon and his comrades have rescued Dale Arden and Princess Aura and have fled with them. They can't go far, some of the guard and search for them. Watch the laboratory. They may attempt to release Dr. Zarkoff also. These prisoners are to be admitted and held in here. This is not a prison. This is an order. Are you going to obey? Yes, by placing you under arrest. <laughs> break down that door. And by that time, I shall have a better and more effective defense. We'll hide these guards somewhere and take their uniforms. Remain here on guard. I must report this to His Majesty. Tom, whom you knew, Baron, I've been a prisoner here for years finally discovered the source of the terrific power Ming controls. Calm confided the secret to you? Yes, the drug here. The power is derived from a strong beam of light, reflected from pure thelenium, a new element, which gives the light great properties and permits it to be transformed into other forms of energy. Where does the light come from? Where all light and power originate, the sun. And it is this thelenium that energizes the purple death dust, the great fire projectile and all of Ming's weapons of death and destruction. Sire, the Earth Party with Baron and Aura have barricaded themselves in the laboratory. Surround the laboratory, but do not attack without an order from me. But, Sire, with our numbers, we can attack and conquer them. You, you! Don't you realize that with Dr. Zarkov in possession of my laboratory, he is more powerful than I am in my own kingdom? Dr. Zarkov is clever. No doubt. He has learned from Karm the secret of my sun power. And if we attack, he'll destroy us. No. He must be tricked into coming out. And I'll find the way. If we can control Ming's powerhouse, we can handle him. We can destroy him and his palace, but that would mean our death as well. It'd be worth it. If we could save the universe by doing so. have you surrounded, Tarkov, and they will attack if you do not surrender immediately. You don't dare attack. Then why not? Because I control the source of your power and can destroy you with it. You would not dare. I would not hesitate. 
Our mission is not only to save the world, but the universe as well. The universe? I am the universe. I'll give you just one hour to surrender. I have another source of power that you know nothing of. Do you believe him? I don't wholly tell him. But don't you think he's stalling for time? No. But our only safety at present is to remain here. Then why can't Baron send for some of his ships? We can keep Ming from attacking them with you in control here, can't we? Flash is right. Yes. Through Captain Sudden, I can arrange an attack. But only as a last resort. For as you know, Ming is cunning and treacherous. We must learn what he's up to. Perhaps you too, in your disguise, might learn his plans. Yes, but Zarkov, how can we get out of here? Palmer showed me a secret passage that leads to the caverns. That even Ming doesn't know of. I'm willing. What about you, Roker? I'll go with you. You hold the fort here. We'll get as close as we can to Ming and find out what he's up to. Right. What are you palace guards doing down here? Searching the cavern, sir. Captain Sudan's orders. Did you see anybody in there? No, sir. All palace guards must remain on duty near the throne room. These men will relieve you. Come. Allow no one to enter or your lives are forfeit. Yes, sir. Keep me covered. I'm relieving you. Go to the laboratory at once. They need help there. What we must do is to find a way to trick Dr. Zarkov and his party into leaving the laboratory. Have you rocket ship CO loaded to my new Solarite? Yes, sir. It's ready in the space court for the attack on the principal cities of the Earth. I think it would be smarter to forget the Earth until we have rid ourselves of the Earth people now on Mongo. And we can use the Solarite ship as a threat to trap them. Check the Solarite ship again and make sure it's ready to depart at a moment's notice. I will, sir. In the meantime, I'll communicate with Dr. Zarkov again. Now, if I may speak to Dr. Zarkov. My rocket ship is loaded with enough solarite to destroy the principal cities of the Earth on contact. It is in my space court now. We will send it if you do not surrender at once. I doubt very much that one ship can do so much damage. I have enough ships and solarite to destroy your entire Earth. If you knew the power of it, you would not hesitate to meet my terms. This is a serious matter. I must consult my associates. Very well. I'll give you five minutes. Kind of you. Don't you believe in Zarkov? He's going to double-cross us. You mean he has no such ship as the rocket ship Zio? He has, he has, but he's going to send it against the Earth whether we surrender or not. I doubt very much if he has the powerful explosive solarite he speaks of. Ming scientists have for years been searching for an explosive powerful enough to destroy the Earth. I believe they have found it. And there's only one way out. And that is, take Ming Zio's ship and destroy him with it. But it all depends on whether you can control the defensive mechanism of the space court here. It can be done. But where will we be when you destroy Ming? In Zarkov's rocket ship. I'll take off in the Solarite ship and head back toward the palace, then bail out. You ought to be able to pick me up. Then you'd better let me go with you. No use two of us sacrificing ourselves. Zarkov doesn't answer our signal, sir. I'll stay here and control the death rays that guard the entrance to the space court. It means your death? Ming killed my spirit when he destroyed my people. For years, I've been waiting for this chance to avenge them. I understand. Notify Captain Sudan to open the tunnel gates for us. I will. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. We'll never forget you, Professor.
possible exit. I fear the Earth people are up to something we know nothing of. I'll warm up the motor so we'll be ready to leave the moment Dr. Zarkoff arrives. Yes. Main call it a Z-O ship. You cannot enter the space court until I have signaled Grove to turn off the death ray. Look! That was caused by the death ray, operated by Grove. Hello. Yes? Turn off the death ray on number seven. They are off. He says the death rays are turned off on number seven. All clear, Flash. I'll circle with the Zo ship until you take off and join me. Right. We'll keep in touch by radio. Good. I hope there's a parachute aboard. I'm sure there is. It's essential part of the equipment. Well, good luck, Flash. Thanks. I'll report it. Your Majesty, Flash Gordon has just entered the space court and taken off in your solarite ship. Why didn't my guards stop him? The guards cannot enter the space court. The death ray has been turned on. Uh, it's the work of that clever fiend, Zarkov. He's at the controls in the laboratory. Dr. Zarkov. Solarite ship. Gordon will not destroy his friends. Captain Torch speaking. Yes? Yes? I'll report. Sir, Dr. Zarkov and the rest of the Earth people, including Prince Baron and Princess Aura, have escaped through the tunnel. They've taken off in their rocket ship. And Gordon will use the Solarite ship to destroy me. We must leave it once for the tower, use the auxiliary controls from there. Or the Captain Sudan that have them turned on. We'll find him in the guard room. Captain Torch calling Captain Sudan. I can't get Captain Sudan, sir. You must. Our lives depend on it. Keep trying. Captain Torch, calling Captain Sudden. Sudden, connect the controls in the tower room at once. I never thought it would ever be in my power to save Ming the Merciless or to destroy him. Then you will not connect the controls? No. Calling Captain Sudden in the guard control room. Hello? Is this Drolk? Yes, this is Drolk. Listen. Can you contact Zarkov? Yes, I can, Captain Sudin. Good. Tell him that Ming has gone to the tower control room. All right, I will. Drolk calling Dr. Zarkov. Calling Dr. Zarkov. Listen carefully. Ming has taken refuge in his tower control room. Tell Flash Gordon to head his solarite ship directly at the tower. I'll tell him. And that means you'll be saved, Drunk. I know that. But it also means that we can place Prince Baron on the throne of Mongo. Now we can save others who should not suffer from Ming's misdeeds. Flash. Flash. Go ahead, Zakov. Ming has gone to his tower control room. 
You know where it is? Yes. I'll head toward there instead of the palace. Good. Let us know when you're ready. Don't worry. I will. Doesn't answer, sire. We're doomed. Send a messenger to him. Uh, there's no time for that. Our only chance is that Captain Shooten will connect the controls. Then we can explode this all right ship while it's in the air. Captain Shooten, your emperor demands that you connect the controls in the tower room immediately. Well, why doesn't Flash bail out? He's close enough now. Not yet. He can't afford to miss. locked Ming and his retinue in the tower. Yes, and there's only one other way of escape for them. But they will be too terrified to think of it. Already, Zakhoff? Cut the speed down as low as possible. The ship will hit the tower. I'm sure it will. Watch the fireworks. Save the universe. In his mad ambition, Ming declared that he was the universe. Then, since you have conquered Ming, I shall radio your father. Flash Gordon conquers the universe. And saves the Earth. What's our course now, Flash? Straight for Aboria. And back home. <laughs> 